Good morning. This is part of our ongoing Two Minute Tax Talk series, part three on IR35, the rules that will apply to large companies that engage in the United Kingdom off payroll contract workers with effect from April 2021. As we discussed in parts one and two, the effect of these rules is to classify workers as employed or self-employed for tax purposes. Now it will be the responsibility of the company to make this determination and it may be the responsibility of the company to pay employment taxes in respect of the contract worker. So what tools are available out there in order to assist the company to make such a determination? In the first instance, HMRC makes available on its website an online tool, Check Employment Status for Tax. It allows the company to log on, it asks certain questions, it then makes a determination and the company can print that as a record. Second, HMRC has its employment manual in which it sets out its guidance. But let me signal a warning, this is pure guidance, it is not legally binding and purely sets out HMRC's approach to this. Third, various service providers and accountants make available a specific form of an online tool that companies can use. But in this instance, companies should take care that there is not one tool out there that applies to all companies across the board. In each instance, companies should take account of their own facts and circumstances. And this is particularly important because we see many instances where HMRC take a certain view by reference to their own guidance and the courts do not necessarily agree with that. This is one area where the taxpayers have been successful in the tax courts in these challenges. So what should companies do now? First, do not delay. Look at your systems now. Second, where you do implement a system, make sure that you take account of your facts and circumstances. And third, take advice where needed, as this is likely to be a contentious area.